welcome guys in this video and i am going to help you on this video regarding the archive the emails and how to speed up the archives the emails most of the users and person facing the issues regarding the archives when the archive is enabled from the exchange admin center uh, 365 portals but still the emails space is not free up and uh, emails are not moving uh, on a speed up uh, in the archives and still the email users is showing uh, most uh, no, the full whatever it was saying previously so i will show you step by step how to solve these problems and how to get the speed up your emails in a archives and how so users can get a uh, enough space to their mailbox for sending and receiving the emails so be with me i will give you the one by one steps so go in the exchange admin center find the user in your portals and open the settings open the details and click uh, the mailbox so check first check the uh, check the retention policy for the users it should be like the retention policy should be uh, the by default for the users uh, uh, you know it should be enabled and if it is not then uh, click on the manage mailbox policies and assign the all the policies uh, what uh, assign these policies if uh, the string policy and I, uh, as it is showing on a default click on these uh, drop down options and select these and assign these okay go back and click others and check the mailbox archive may, uh, may uh, if you'll see here mailbox is disabled right now click on the manage mail on these uh, drop down options and select these and assign these okay go back and click others and check the mailbox archive may, uh, may uh, if you'll see here mailbox is disabled right now click on the manage mailbox archive and enable it uh, this is from here so uh, cl click on the enables and if you'll see here then uh, it's it asking for the name it is your choice if you want to be uh, some archive uh, email box name or otherwise you can uh, leave it blank it will be by default uh, with your email id and uh, the archiving name so i enabled it for the issue user and save this and it's it's been saved now and now uh, you can refresh the user settings and check it back now you will see uh, the archive status is active from the uh, outside and uh, from the inside as well it is enabled and if you go on the details it will show the archive is started archive uses is started on the below in this line so archive uses uh, display it will show you how much space it's been free up and how much space goes on the archive how many emails like how much space emails are going in an archive so uh, so if you will see here it will take much time more than uh, i usuals and it will take many days to moving for the uh, even one gb space so i will show you guys uh, step to step uh, the commands powershell commands how you can uh, speed up the archives email through the command prompts and it will be uh, give you the enough space within a 10 to 15 minutes to sending and receiving the emails so uh, i'm just going to connect uh, exchange online here is the command connect exchange online even if you want to type it connect exchange online the first one okay so hit enter so it will be pop up you to shine in the account so you need to shine in here with the account so i will sign it and shine in the account so you need to shine in here with the account so i will sign it and uh, after attempting the user logon uh, id and password so i'm connected to the i'm going to connect to the exchange online it will be uh, looks like you for as well 
uh, the, the same session, this all the uh, executions will be appear to you. So now we have a few more commands to run and enable the auto archive for the users. Please be here. I will uh, give you all the commands on the com uh, command box uh, on the descriptions as well. You can follow these. Uh, the second command is enable mailbox. Uh, the you, you should be noted the user mailbox. Uh, the second and then hyphen expanding archive click uh, hit enter so it will be give you the details like the users have 49.5 gigs space right now and the database and everything here so the third command we have get mailbox then user uh, nam uh, and then uh, fl auto expanding here this command execute this one okay so it should be true enable like that means i enable i already enable the auto archive it should be enabled from the uh, from the you know the portal so once it will be uh, true uh, that means it's perfect then we have to go with the next command then so the next command is this one hit enter start manage folder assisting oh i'm sorry so we have to first get enable auto archive it enable mailbox auto expanding archive so this is the next command we have to be uh, enable we have to be run this one and uh, you will see the auto expanding archive is already enabled for this account and this will be uh, the message will be pop up here so the last command uh, for us start manage Start manage, start manage folder assistant hyphen identity and then user mailbox. Uh, hit enter. So it will be started. So so it is executed. That this command is executed as well. So so now uh, uh, give give it fi uh, five to ten seconds and you will see the changes here. Uh, with the user accounts now if you will see here 47 percent is using and 95 95.0 percent is is using and 95 95.0 percent is used and and the mailbox is archiving is getting started if we'll see here 0 0.04 percent is zero that means 0 0.04 percent is used and if we will go back after a few seconds it will be uh, good then it will be uh, started very fastly quickly so after taking some uh, may, maybe a minutes i'm coming back and uh, let's see how much space it's been taken now see it's been almost uh, 0.19 uh, GB uh, that means uh, 0.17 percent has been utilized like it's been moved from uh, user mailbox to archive that means the space has been free up from the user mailbox and it's gone in the in uh, in place archive for the users thank you everyone for being with me